Diego was born on a cold, windy night in the middle of December. He was found by Julia in the morning, just minutes before we all left for a family music concert. He was brought along on the trip, and in the weeks that followed, he stayed indoors because it was around minus 30 Celsius outside at the time, and was cared for by Charles and Sarah and the family's dogs until he was big enough to be put back with the rest of the flock. Diego soon learned to bound up and tumble down the many stairs in our house, and he faithfully stayed by the sides of his new mummy and daddy, Sarah and Charles, and would only come to their particular calls. Thankfully, Brooklyn was milking a few goats at the time, and Diego had more than enough milk to keep him happy and healthy. As you can imagine, it was quite entertaining, and sometimes a bit distracting, during mealtimes and Bible reading as Diego would curiously nibble on anything near him, try and make mad dashes out of the arms of the person holding him, and jump around, kicking little dances into the air to the delight of all watching him. And yes, he tagged along with the family when they all went to do their music concerts. Hot water bottle. Yeah, I have a little hot water bottle. Pretty cute. Diego would follow along during the outside chores. After chores, he would come back inside and lay wherever he found most comfortable. He likes your sweater. <laughs> right. And of course, if there was any exciting activity going on, he was always sure to be close at our heels. Sarah had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Sarah had a little lamb, its fleece was brown as flax. Brown flax.
He's like, oh. it's empty. I'm smart enough. <laughs> Charles and Sarah both took turns lamb-sitting him, but Charles seemed to be his favourite. If Diego heard his voice anywhere in the house, he would instantly prick up his ears and begin bleating and searching for him. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You can get a clean up your life. Come on. <laughs> Diego is a mix of mouflon sheep and black belly sheep, both of which are meat breeds and extremely hardy for our harsh northern climate. Come on, go meet him, Diego. Go meet him. Oh, you're just being a little sissy. <laughs> Alrighty. Diego has a happy future awaiting him with the rest of the flock and all his newfound little friends. Although, I think the most extraordinary part is over.